Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you all about the new Jamboard Revision History Update, and I'm going to show you some of the best free Jamboard templates. At the recent Learning with Google Global Livestream event, the people at Google for Education announced several major updates, including one huge update for Jamboard. Speaking with educators all around the world, the one thing I kept hearing from teachers is that they really needed a revision history in Jamboard so that they can see which students were doing which work. Which is why I am super excited that Google announced the revision history is coming soon. Now they didn't say exactly when we can expect this update, however I did follow up with a good friend who usually has very reliable information, and he said he thought this would be out within the next month or so, and he thought no later than two months. So take that with a grain of salt, but as soon as it is announced, I will make sure I do a tutorial video showing you how to use the revision history tool, because I know a lot of teachers are really looking forward to that. So please make sure you subscribe to the EdTech Show and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time there's a new video so that you can start using that right away. So the first set of templates comes from weareteachers.com, and they have this really great magnetic letters board that was created by third grade doodles. And so you can see from this board, if you were in class as a teacher, you can tell the students to spell a word and each student would have their own board. So you could say, spell the word cat. And then the student can just click on the letters and drag them over and they can spell words. And what I love is that you can use this whether you're in person, whether you're in a hybrid, whether you're in a distance learning, and you can have a lot of fun with this. You can have the students make up their own words. You can have the students ask each other to spell different words, and they can just kind of keep playing with these, and they can spell anything that they want. There's also this really great base 10 blocks template. Now, it's always a good idea to make a copy of these templates some of them will make copies automatically, but it's hard to tell which ones do, so it's always good to just make yourself a copy. So you, as the teacher, can write down a number, and then the students would take the blocks, and they can make copies of them, and put them next to each other, and it's like having their own manipulatives right in front of them. And then they can just control C and control V to make copies. And you'll see you can do that for all of them. It's also a good reminder that if you want to set up several different boards so that you wanted students to do several of these, you can go to the top. And before you put out the answers, click on the three dots there and you can duplicate so that you don't have to go through and recreate the board every time. You can just duplicate and set as many as you want. I know a lot of teachers also do morning meetings, and there's a really awesome morning meeting calendar that you can use. So I won't go through all of the templates on weareteachers.com, but I definitely urge you to check these out before starting from scratch when creating a Jamboard, because this will save you a lot of time and effort. Holly Clark from the Infused Classroom compiled lots of different templates from across the internet and put them all on a wakelet. So I just wanted to go through a few of these that I thought were really awesome and that a lot of teachers could probably use. The first is this story plot jam. And again, she does remind you to please make a copy before you start using this. And one of the things that I really love about this is that she put in a lot of information that the students can use as a reminder before they do this activity. So what the exposition is, the conflict, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. And then she gives an example story. You can put your own story in. Um, and then you can have the students go through and label all the different parts of a story. On that wakelet, you'll also find links to two really great math templates. Uh, there's a middle school one as well as a high school one. And these can be used by teachers to either demonstrate something or they can be used by students to show their work. And all you have to do is make a copy and then the students can write right over these. She also has this really cute thinking routines template. And you'll see as you click through here, uh, all you have to do is make a copy, then make one for your students or for a group. And it's just really uh, engaging, it's very colorful. The emojis are great. And it just seems like something that students would love working on. 
Now, there's far too many templates on this wakelet for me to show you all of them, but I will just scroll through to the bottom so you can get an idea of how many different templates there are. And again, even if you don't use these templates, it's really great to just get different ideas from what people have already created. And the last set of templates I'm going to show you are from Julia at Gifted Talk. And Julia has created many amazing templates that are not only fun, but super interactive. One of my favorite jams from her site is this multiplying fish challenge. And as I scroll through it, you'll see just how engaging this is for students. There's lots of animated pictures in here. Uh, there's bright colors and it's just super engaging. And the students are going to love doing these activities. She also has this really fun simile and metaphor extractor. And so she's got examples in the beginning where you can take a picture and you put it in and then you give an example of how it's used. And you'll see like as you scroll through, it shows you what an example would look like. And then it's got pictures that you can use. You can use your own pictures and the students can create their own examples. And one of the great things about these jams is that they go across the curriculum in all different subject areas and they're free to use. All that she asks is that you give her credit when you share them. So this one here is about the food chain and I'll just click through quickly so you can get an idea of just how awesome these look. And she's got one on constellations. And she's got this really great snow day one, which is a steam activity where the students get to create their own snow forts. And you'll see as I scroll through her site that she has so many different templates for so many different topics. And I have put a link to this website in the description below, but please make sure if you use any of these and share them that you give her credit. So hopefully this revision history update will inspire new teachers to start using Jamboard and hopefully it will bring some teachers back to Jamboard and will inspire them to start using it again. Now I mentioned it throughout the video, but if you are interested in using any of those templates that I showed you in this video today, or if you just want to check out more templates, please check out the links in the description below. Also in the description below, you'll find other links to tutorials and videos about Jamboard, including one where I show you how to insert your own animated images into Jamboard in case this video has inspired you today to start creating your own jams. Now, I'm really curious to hear what some of your favorite templates are, or if you found other ones and you want to share them, please feel free to share them in the comments section below. And if you know any teachers that might be inspired by this video, please feel free to share this with them as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show, please take a second, click on that subscribe button, and click on the notification bell so you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada. And on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.